Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So we've shifted planets again between episodes. I'm going to have a quick look at the uh, star map here. And what we did was we moved to Necromo here. We were at... Where were we again? St. Louis, I believe? No, nope, we were right here, I think. Was it here? Somewhere over here. Meh, I can't remember now. It was a double jump to get here anyway. Doesn't seem to be showing up as a double jump anywhere here. Anyways, we jumped out of a uh, one of these. I believe it was St. Lawrence we were at, um, and we jumped up to here. This is a uh, Federated Suns controlled world, so we're going to pull off some shenan shenanigans on this planet. Um, and I was planning on refitting my some of the mechs today, um, but I it's it's going to be tough, and the reason why is. We, we already know it's going to be about a, be about a uh, million sea bills to put in an uh, engine in the Mjolnir, a light engine. And then I had a look at the Victor. I thought, well, I wasn't really happy with what I was getting out of the out of the Mjolnir with the build I was working on. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just work on the Victor instead. And look at this, 1.5 million sea bills to put a light engine in this thing. So we're not doing that anytime soon. Um, so that being said... Uh, let's pull off a mission on the planet. Um, we're going to have to be ca happy with the components we have right now. Um, I didn't really do any adjustments on the max. I just got kind of got everything fixed up. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the uh, contracts today. See what we can take on this planet. Now there's a three and a half skull here mission for Haus Steiner. And it's against the, against the local government forces. So we're going to take this mission today. Um, it should be a hard one. It's... Uh, High tonnage local government lands landing, and then there's probably reinforcements as well. So this should be a fun one, I think. And it's in Badlands too, so it's going to be uh, um, a tough fight. So we're going to go full salvage. I'll probably have to pull off a couple of uh, missions between episodes here, and most likely that's going to be because hang on a minute, Rhino, right? Uh, because we're going to need, need to generate some sea bills. Now we've got the. Uh, Jagermack back. I'm thinking about dropping this guy in now. We have the two LBX 10s in this thing um, and three tons of ammo plus two medium lasers. So I'm thinking I'm going to try um, let's leave the catapult out for today and let's bring in the Jagermack and see how it works. Um, the catapult is, does have the uh, Thunderbolt and a couple of LRMs but I want to see how this guy works um, with the two LB 10 axes and see if it makes that much difference. I mean, it's six projectiles doing 14 damage each. So yeah, let's uh, let's see how that one works out today. So let's deploy this lance and get the, this sucker done. Yeah, we're fine. All right, guys, here we go. Classical map for this battle. High tonnage lands here, reinforcements from over here. Um, a couple of ways you can go about doing this. Uh, if you feel like engaging the reinforcements first, you could do that. Um, you could use this wall here as defense against the reinforcements. I kind of like this mineral field and setting up over here. Um, if you want to try and command the hill, you can do that as well. This has got a nice little forest in here for some defense, but no other cover than that. That's why I like this hill. You can break line of sight by moving behind it or even behind here if you have to. So. We're going to move in, try and take the forest first, and then move up behind here and see how it goes. What's up, boss? All right, Rocky. Got it. So, um, at the end of this mission, probably what we'll do is we're going to have a look at uh, the components that I've got stored up. We have an NSS system, which we can still use, uh, which we could put on the Victor, um, just to increase the uh, um, stealth ability of it. We've got a couple of Warfare Suites, one QS, one regular. The, war the regular Warfare Suite is the better of the two. Um, it gives us a 240 meter sort of ECM bubble around our group. I was thinking about dropping that in with Savage Steve um, in the Mjolnir. Now, it might be better off served in the Victor. Um, but if we keep the Mjolnir moving with the rest of the group, um, as a fire support platform, everyone has someone him to move back to, to in order to enjoy that ECM bubble. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Okay, we got a bushwhacker. Okay, it's tanks up here, which is better off. Jagermack. 
Another Jager mech. Hatchet man. Jager mech 70 ton. Super Jager. Bushwhacker. Hatchet man. Okay, uh, Rocky. You know how much we friggin' hate hatchet men. Um, let's not give him any reason to get too close to us. And fire everything. Okay. Vehicles moving. So the mechs are full armor, except for that guy. And vehicles, I have no idea. PO heavy tank, fulcrum, a couple of other stealthy bastards. Bushwhacker moving back. Probably gonna take a pot shot here. Nope, yep. Ooh, 35 heat, man. Shooting at the right guy, though. No, wrong guy. Oh, that's the missile version of the Jager. I actually prefer that version. I think I've said that several times in the past. That version of the Jager Mac, I kind of really like it. It's like, you know, ballistic and missile version. All right, let's see if we can get rid of this guy fast. Comes to poo. Standing by. Okay, I'll be ten X's. Let's see how these guys do. And firing. Right. I have no idea because I didn't see any numbers. That's a kill. We killed them. Doesn't mean anything though, unless you can see what you're what you did. You might have only ha oh, there's all the numbers now. <laughs> Fives and sevens, it looked like. Probably because of the range. Alright, let's get in, keep moving over here. Aye, aye. Now, we got a direct line of sight to this Jager mech. 51% chance is pretty darn good. Um, Poe is 23. So let's take the direct shot. And we're going to fire on this guy. Okay, it hits. Nice. Jaegers generally, I mean, they, they can have a lot of armor, but they generally don't. Standing by. Copy that. Let's peek out and blast this guy from the mineral field. Give us some bonus defense. Firing. Wow, that was terrible. But then again, we're, it, uh, we're like plus two to hit out of there, I think. I've got something. I'm here. Better not be diarrhea. Um, I want to go up to the whacker. Ah, uh, good question. Yeah. Yeah, kind of underwhelming. I'm sure it'll be better once we get in closer. Wow. Keep an eye on my heat commander. Yeah. Tell me about it. That guy's not playing fair. That could have been worse. 
Yeah, you're gonna get in the mineral field and cool off this turn, or next turn. I think we be shoot I think we should be shooting that whacker. I think we got like three hatchetman parts. I don't know, 45 ton melee mech at this stage in the game might be good for the second lance. That guy's going to overheat me, so we're going to go this way. Ah, uh, really? So far away too, that's why. Well... Okay, looks like we took the leg guy's leg off. Oh, he's got racks. Yeah, I see that. We need to not be in that guy's line of sight. As much as I want to shoot this guy. My warlord, I can't multi-target. We do want to hit the guy on the ground, too. So let's fire the Thunderbolt today. Multiple targets confirmed. Oh yes, nice. I was hoping for crits there. Alright, what are they doing? Hmm. Lasers and missiles, eh? Okay, vehicles moving in. All right, Rocky. Um, let's get some evasion. Let's do some damage sharing with this guy, and we're gonna fire everything on this guy. Okay, nice hits. Infernos. That whacker's gotta go. He's gotta go. <sighs> kind of a waste of a warlord, but we gotta do it. I don't want to shut down. I can't risk shutting down. God damn. Rack flies with the overheater, guys. 51%. 57%. Let's Warlord get his a little bit better percent on this guy. Um, and fire. Come on. Okay. I think that was an arm. Ah, uh, who knows. Ah, uh, they're getting in visual range now. Ah, oh, man, it'd be so nice when these vehicles are gone. I don't know. I think it's got to be the Rack 5s, guys. I think we got to axe those Rack 5s. And firing. At least one hit. Come on. Okay. Come on. 
on, resist it, resist it. Ah, damn you. I can't hold it. Oh, I'm hit. Ugh. Can't fire all my PPCs now. Um, gotta leave two off. Fire two. Okay, another hit. I'd love to know what this guy's armor is. Oh, those vehicles. Delaying my fun. Come on. Comes the overheat. Shit. You think? It's too hot. Shutting down. Yeah, you think? Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Don't know what's worse, the racks or the the overheat. Okay, at least he's shooting at me. Yes, Commander. That hit something good. Yeah, it sounded like something blew off that guy. Uh, we need to start on the bushwhacker. No shooting, just running. Yep. Damn it, you had to miss with that, did you? We gotta push this guy. Uh, fire everything on him. Yeah, finding these LB-10X is underwhelming. Unless you're shooting them right in someone's face, like point-blank range. So it looks like we're going to have lots of repairs again on this map. Look at this inferno rounds. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Oh, he's moving in. Now we get to see what he's got maybe on him. Now we have no idea. Let's get back here. The 
Sensors locked on. That should help. Hope I got my uh, warlord back. One more turn, eh? Understood. Moving fast. Okay, well. Start applying some damage to this guy. That hit something good. Okay, so we know we lost an arm up there. Okay, that guy was CT'd. Yeah, he's missing an arm. This guy's missing a leg. We're not doing that bad, I guess. Took a hard hit there. Oh. Small favors. Vehicles aren't getting into direct fire range. Waiting for orders. Acknowledged. Oh man. Okay, this is gonna hopefully hurt him. Nope. Oh, we got a head hit on him, okay. Drops his initiative. Once these mechs are gone, these vehicles should be relatively, I don't want to say relatively easy, but easier. I don't want to waste too much. Got to get my stability back. Warlord. Targeting this guy. We better go with all four, just in case. Firing. Man. Really? Okay, at least we knocked him down. Oh, man. Well, the good thing about playing these episodes before I'm getting too far into Night Witches is I know now what needs to be done. I'm thinking really Amanda. for Night Witches it's going to have to be like base destruction missions, capture base, things like that, just so that um, aye, aye. we can get some good uh, chances to succeed. Fire CT. There we go. That problem solved. So I'm going to have to redesign that hunchback, I think. Put a faster engine in. We have a mask system. Maybe we make it faster with, uh, you know, find some pulse lasers. We got a VSPL, I think. Could put that in there. 
with the availability of double heatsink kits uh, in this particular pack, it's so much easier to mitigate your heat. Okay, dumping everything straight on this guy. Okay, we lost the other rack. I don't even know what that is. Okay, um... Starting on these vehicles. Okay, he's got a lot of armor. What are they doing? Come on, guys. Not much armor left in that location. I know. So he's got LB ten X, he's doing like ten and fourteen, ours aren't. I guess because they were in trees or, or uh, braced or something, I have no idea. Warning. Armor low. I gotta stop my ADD from getting the best of me here. Commander? Um, getting that evasion up okay. and going. Full speed, no target. Oh, we got targets, alright. 840. I have no idea. We've already hit this guy, though. Um. Yeah. Target locked. Okay, 11s and 14s. Pretty good. No idea where he's hit, though. Good thing I got no, uh, nothing in my left arm. Standing by. Got it. Let's finish this guy off, hopefully. Okay. He's gone. Reporting one less vehicle. Starting on the Poe, fire three. Really? Wow. Starting to think ace pilot's like one of the better skills to take. Affirmative. Fire everything on this guy, see if we can get rid of him. For an there we go. Looks like I only did new target. Shit, I gotta get out of here. Warning. Armor breached. Internal Ready for damage. Orders. Roger. It's the second fulcrum, okay. Fire 
Fire two. God, really? With 80% chance to hit and only one of them hit. Yes, Commander. Roger that. Everything on this guy. Finally. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Waiting for orders. Got a sensor lock. See what they do. Mm hmm. Where are you going? At least we'll be able to cool off a little bit. Making us chase them. They got nowhere to run though. Wow, they got better sensors than I do. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Okay, definitely have to get the war first sweets and stuff in before the next time. See what these guys do. Man, it's taking forever. Yeah, they got better sensors than me, man. Nothing. Okay, well, we do have some kind of eyes on. Oh man. Standing by. Double time. Let's go. Yeah, I think the scattered range damage weapons are not um, going to be as valuable now. Gotta be this guy. I think the long range direct well 100 points damage good. I think the long range direct fire weapons are really the only way to go. I mean, I guess if I had just like a missile launch, dedicated missile boat too, right? I hope this doesn't go back to the old uh, battle tech where. All you did was have one spotter mech and everybody else just lob missiles. Give us the best chance to hit here. See, that wasn't too bad. But I'm at really close range right now. Probably better to do this. Got a lock. 
receiving you. On my way. Okay, so hopefully we finish him up here. Got it. There we go. Thank God. Vehicle trash. All right, three hundred and four thousand. We're not even. It's going to be way more than that for repairs. Two arms are gone. Hunchback's effectively out of service. Ah. Uh. Uh, we don't have this version of the Hatchet Man. AC5 Pirate. 20 damage, 10 heat. Does 20 heat damage as well. Plus or minus 9 damage. Play times 3 bonus damage against overheating targets. But yeah, they've got incendiary ammo back here. Compact heat sinks. Well, that's interesting. Pharaoh, we don't really need. Ah, oh, jeez, man. AC5 incendiary. Minus 40% AC damage, plus 15 heat damage. 8 rounds. I mean, we could do a dedicated long range heater mech. I mean, we could turn the, um, we could turn the, uh, hunchback into this too, right? Thermal boat. Thermal boat. This is a small one. Usually I only see the 15. The impulse lasers. That'll be 10 axes, flame breath. Hmm. I'd rather have range damage. Um, plus one accuracy. Target's heat sink efficient reduced by 10 for four turns. Does 10 damage and 20 heat damage per hit. Stability 13, heat 12. It's plus one accuracy too, right? Compact heat sink and heat sink kit. Man, there's so much good stuff now. Takes forever to decide what you want to take. Um, we've got two ECMs still. Don't have any Pharaoh. I'm just tempted to take the two XL engines and sell them. Uh, I hate to say that, but it's probably what we're going to have to do. Because this is going to cost us a lot of coin. Uh, it's painful to have to do this, but small steps, I guess. We'll do it this way, I guess. Uh, let's hope for some hatchetman parts. One, two, three, four hatchetman parts. Okay, we may have a hatchetman. I can't guarantee it. I think we only have three spot, three parts, though. And a Jaeger Met Mech F part. LRM10, double plus, 50, BDF, SRM, tag, okay. We got the compact, compact heat sink cooling system, which is nice. Fusion core. Okay, we got some good stuff out of this, I think. On the roll, that is. Okay, yeah, 354,000. 57 days for repair. So, other than the hunchback. Um, we didn't really take all that much damage. The Mjolnir did take a lot of damage. We're going to move it right up to the top, though. Uh, get the Hunchback back so we can refit that. Jager mech, and then, well, Victor, then Jager mech, I think. Doesn't matter. These will all be back before this guy anyway. Um, yeah, so between episodes, what I'll do is I'll go and pull a few missions, sell a few things, 
Um, I'll just pull like like I said, like one skull missions just to make some cash. Um, and then I think next episode we will make an attempt to refit things. What I'd like to find out, uh, I don't know if anybody knows this. If we go to the store real quick, um, or not the store. Let's go to the let's go to the base here. And let's just pop in. We're going to go to the bushwhacker and pop in here. So, what I'm interested in knowing. So we've got. Where are we here? Um, where are you? Here we go. Warfare suites. So the warfare suite gives a 240 radius for the ECM bubble, right? My question is, does that bubble overlap? with let's say the warfare suite which is 120 meters so if we're all grouped together do these add up all together if you're casting a bubble around right or is that only within that radius so if you for instance if you have a warfare suite on a fast mech and you get somebody within a 240 meter radi radius that jabs them. So maybe it's both. So that's the thing I'm not 100% sure on. If you guys know, just m mention it in the comment section down below. I really like to know what what this does if it works both ways if it's just with for people within for your guys within your bubble or or if the enemy comes within the bubble they get their sensors jammed I'm not sure how exactly how it works but we'll have to figure that out because maybe we make a, a mech with a mask and beagle probe and a warfare suite to get close to the enemies and jam up all their sensors and then we add things like the advanced AMS system, and if we can get some uh, damage reduction gear, like uh, the, the uh, pirate helmet, um, a shield, um, stuff like that, to reduce damage, and we can just get him running around the enemy with like an NSS and a bunch of other stuff, and some light weapons to jam up the enemies. We could probably do it with the bushwhacker too, like if we if we can get some incendiary LRM ammo, I mean, we could leave the dead fire ammo in too, right? Nice point blank killer range missiles. Get in behind the enemy and just wreck them. Pull off all the medium lasers and anything else that, that's going to make this guy overheat. It's already got a light engine in it, so we don't have to do that. Put a, a uh, defensive gyro in him as well. I mean, we're only going to get two tons from taking these off. Um, but our heat sinking will be vastly improved. Alpha strike will be 64. Really? That's 18. 24. 34, 36. Oh, these are, that's right, because these are bonus heat. That's 52, 64. Alpha Strike's 84. How's that? Oh, because we got the medium and small in the center torso as well. Right. So maybe we could pull those all off. That'll give us three and a half tons. We'll leave the lasers off and just go with the MMLs. That's a possibility. Got the slick suite in here already. Increased sensor range, increased sight range, bonus initiative. We don't have an ECM in here. I'm kind of shocked. I thought we had one, but I guess not. That's okay. We'll drop the warfare suite in. We can pull this extra heat sink in. We can pull this out because we won't need it. Um, actually, this can go in the CT probably, can't it? Not in the free slots. Oh, because it's probably because of this. Um, all right. Well, that's something to consider anyway. We do have a bunch of gear that we can use. Um, just got to figure out how we're going to do it. Yeah. 
We also got the crab we haven't done anything with yet. The new crab. Let's just put him in, well, yeah, let's just put him in storage for now. It's going to save a little bit of cash. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll leave it there for today. Um, definitely I got a lot of stuff to think about. Uh, I got to move on to recording an episode of Night Witches. So if you guys like this episode, please drop a like. Um, if you have any comments on, uh, sorry, it's just really dry in here. If you have any comments on mech loadouts and stuff, drop it in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you all later.